Hello everyone. So in this video, I am going to be doing a audio loudness test for the Zoom F1 field recorder. And uh, so I've had this recorder for a while now. I just really haven't used this recorder much. Um, but I think it's uh, it's important today for me to test and find out what the uh, the line input on the uh, or the mic input on the Zoom F1 uh, feels like with a lavalier mic uh, installed, uh, plugged right in. So the left mic is a mic that I just got a couple of days ago. It's made by a company called Power Device, and uh, this mic is actually a very affordable lav mic. It costs only twenty three dollars at the moment, and when it goes on sale, it it's like less than twenty dollars. So definitely a good mic to have around if you're doing any kind of like interviewing work or maybe shooting weddings. Uh, you need a mic to be mounted with a field recorder on the bride and the groom. So this is a good mic to have. So what I'm going to try to find out today is the loudness of the gain or the gain settings on the line input. So in a few moments, I'm going to switch to the recording on the field F1. And uh, for this purpose, we're going to use... Um, 48k and 24 bits wave setting so uh, as you can see i have a 4 gig uh, memory card so with this setting i can have i can record about seven hours of the audio which is fantastic um, and with the limiter and the low cut filter all set to off and we're going to start with the automatic setting of the for the line input um, this is, should be the most common setting that you're going to be using uh, when you're doing field recording work so let's start Okay, I just turned on the um, the recording button. As you can see, the light is uh, red. That means it's currently recording. And I'm using the auto setting um, on the Zoom F1. So the microphone is actually just mounted right below my mouth on my shirt, clipped onto my shirt. And I'm just going to speak like this the entire recording. So this is what sounds like in auto. I'm going to next switch to... And right now it's in the low setting. As you can see, the indicator still shows a pretty weak signal. So again, those those settings are probably for microphones that are powerful enough themselves. And right now I'm switching to mid minus. So this is what it sounds like in the mid minus setting. So next we're gonna switch to mid setting. And this is what it sounds like in the mid setting. So the medium, uh, you can see the gain is still around minus 32 and less. Uh, bumping into minus 20 uh, field, but it's still a pretty weak signal. And next we're switching to mid plus. So over here the, um, the indicator shows it goes to negative 18 once in a while. And uh, um, still I would consider the signal slightly weak. And right now it's in high minus setting. So this is what it sounds like in high minus. So the signal, I can see it's, uh, it's around minus 18 and once in a while it goes to minus 12. Um, but this is the high minus setting. And now we're switching to high setting. So in this setting, the gain is staying at around negative 12. Uh, DB. So this is what it sounds like in high and which I think probably is a good setting for me to use if I'm not using the auto setting for the for this particular lav mic. Uh, so this is what it sounds like. And I still have two more settings to go, which is the high plus and high plus plus. So let's test those out. And right now we are in high plus setting. As you can see, it's going to hit the limiter very closely. Um, so it's going into the minus six and somewhere around minus six to zero uh, if I'm just doing normal speech. And now we're going to test out the high plus plus, which I think is going to blow it off. OK, so right now we're in high plus plus. Uh, it's hitting the limiter really bad. So for this mic, thankfully, I don't have to use high plus plus, which uh, I know it's going to produce a lot more noise uh, for the recording, 
but this is what it sounds like with high plus plus okay so this is all the settings that I have switching back to the to the auto setting so this is what it sounds like in auto and uh, I'm pretty sure in auto it's using the high setting uh, for the microphone gain and it might be adjusting dynamically based on how loud I'm speaking uh, but I'm pretty sure it's defaulting at high or high plus. And uh, so this is a quick test of the Zoom F1 uh, field recorder's loudness test. Overall, I really like this, uh, this very little handy recorder and uh, it, uh, it have great battery life. Um, it supports, I think, up to 16 gig of the micro SD card. If you use anything high capacity, it's, it's not gonna work. So uh, even with a four gig card, as you can see, I can use, I can record for at least uh, uh, seven hours with the 48K and uh, 24 bit uh, output. So also it have some very nice, quickly accessible low cut filters and the limiter, uh, even though those are not fine tuned, uh, it's not available to fine tune those settings. It does offer those uh, capabilities. So you have the low cut filter off, you have the 80 Hertz, 120 hertz and 116 hertz which are the most common um, uh, range that uh, you're going to be using the low cut filter for so very easy to access the limiter also it only have a on and off option so with the limiter on if you're actually blowing you know the if you're actually hitting the limiter it's going to somehow using the software to uh, to make sure that you don't like your your recording doesn't sound as bad as it could be okay so uh, with the limiter off with the auto setting over here it's perfect for quiet environment recording with a lav mic and uh, i think this is uh, this is a great little handy recorder that everybody should have in their kit like even as a backup to the the better uh, the higher models the zoom f5 or the uh, f4n uh, those those recorders are pretty big but also they're very reliable but in terms of portability i think the f1 is the best choice in the zoom range um, so there you have it.